and my character Shadow Stan, I guess, my, my middle name is Stanley. And I guess it's my alter ego, and rather than putting myself out there, and, and I guess that's the way I communicate. I never understood art, I never, because um, I always thought art was pretty pictures. Or, um, and so I used to draw a little bit, but couldn't draw. It was just stick men or squares. So I just didn't pursue it. And when I um, became ill in 2000 or something, um, I, I, my brain functioned perfectly. I was still very, um, very aware of what was happening, but I'd lost my uh, will. I guess I really lost my, uh, my will to to contribute to the real world, and I just sort of locked myself away. And so I went into hospital, and uh, you know, I had a tumor and all this other sort of stuff, which I won't dwell on. But so then I started to paint. When you use that word mental illness, I guess that's that's bad. I guess people say, oh, he's, you know, he's, he's um, got a mental illness and people don't understand what a mental illness is or think you're a whack job or, or something. You know? um, but I'm old enough, ugly enough and been on this earth long enough to realise that I'm not mad and I'm not insane and I'm not over-obsessive. Obsessive. Everyone gets obsessive about stuff. You know? I mean, I get positive, I get negative, I mean, it's nothing too drastic but you know there's a lot a lot of good in the world and there's a lot of crap in the world too but I, I guess it is a it's a narration on the way I see the world I've always said what I feel I was always prepared to say what I felt and couldn't understand when I said it I upset people and people say you can't say things like that I thought, well. so I've always been a bit like that I guess well, emotions get me fired up which then makes me paint and makes me do stuff you know, um, I can be a couch potato because I get tired and I get, um, because of um, the illness I've had over the years, you know, I have a few other things wrong with me and then I've got skin disorders and all sorts of stuff so I get tired and weary and I'm getting older but what does keep me charged is, is art, is painting and learning, I teach myself stuff, I mean I just read profusely um, and that's what gives me energy to keep going. God I would only know if I didn't have this as an outlet, what I'd be doing, I would probably just roll up and not die, but I would be a very boring person, I think. The art has then softened me again, so it's softened my resolve. And, um, so the hard edges on my thinking or my personality are ploughed into my art, and then so it allows me to come across a little bit softer, I guess. But I am, you know, a lot's happened to me, and I mean, happens to a lot of people, but I've had a lot of bad experiences, I've had a lot of good experiences, but. Um, well, I used a comic book style not to be cla classed as a cynical person, I guess, and I guess because the world is cynical. I mean, what the and we don't want to get into a debate about that, but I mean, there's great things in the world, and I guess this way it's not as cynical and not as hard. And you know, I worry, I, I worry about what people say. I hate leaving my life like that, and you know, I guess that's why I paint with shadow stand. You know, if I get. I guess, you know, he's, he's a good guy, but he's got his bad points, but he's just telling the truth, I guess. He's just, if I started painting myself as a portrait with an axe in my hand or, or a knife, people would say I'm a violent person. You know? um, so, but that is a life, you know, that, that's, that's the world we live in, you know, it's a mm -hmm. violent world. Mm -hmm. You know, I get he's, he's a bit like a spike, you know, like... Um, you know, put paper, paper spot, you know, everything. <laughs> he's out to take the world on him. He's a rhinoceros, I guess. Um, he's bold, he's brash, he's blue. But he's me, you know, you know like he delves, delves into stuff. But so far he's been accepted, where I haven't been in, you know, in the main sort of mainstream, I guess. My work has to be more edgier and has to be more me, and that's what it is. I just think art is an important part of life, you know, it's important, it's your feelings to get your, you know, it's the oldest form of communication, it goes back to the cavemen, goes back to the aboriginals on the caves. People, people inspire me, you know, Barack Obama inspires me, you know, there's a lot of um, Australian artists that, that fire me up, Wheatley, and there's a lot of um, artists who, like myself, you know, who I get inspired from, people in our group, you know, Andy, I really like his work. Paul's work inspires me. Um, 
you know, that doesn't have to be the big names. I mean, there's millions of people out there doing some sort of art or craft or, or something. And, you know, if we can get someone to at least show our work, there are people who, who may be interested in looking at it. I guess mm -hmm. that's an important thing. Look, I, I think my work is meaningful and I hope I contribute somehow. I don't think I'll ever give up painting. And if anything, I think in my later years, when I get in my 50s and 60s, I think I'll just keep going. I just think I'll have more, more experience and more maturity, and I think my work will grow accordingly.